oh my, and it looks like it is the number Foyt. two of A.J. Foyt, who had just qualified earlier today, and it looks like he has uh, done some heavy damage to the number two Lily Vision Racing Dallara. The Delphi safety crew already on the scene. We'll wait to see if uh, A.J. is okay. They have had a really difficult month. But you said it earlier. He had so many close calls with the wall that as you keep pushing and pushing, sooner or later, that wall comes up and bites you. Uh, you just can't You just can't keep doing that. It didn't look like any of them were driver errors. It just like the wind would catch the car up or the balance wasn't right. But he had two big saves since he's been here. Uh, one, one spin didn't hit anything. But it's, uh, it's, it, I, I hate seeing that to happen this late in the game because that is the car he just qualified with and that is the car he's going to have to get him into race with and the only time he'll be able to run that car will be in carburation day and all carburation day really is just to make sure you don't have any leaks in your engine you can't do any testing on carburation day all right uh as you can see it looks like everything is okay uh we'll wait to see if aj's coming out now let's take a look here is um Wow, oh, so that's that, that's not his fault Definitely. at all. Yeah, that is not AJ's fault at all. Take a look. We've never seen the flames shooting out the back. Broken engine. Right. Almost makes you wonder if an oil line or something broke, Eddie, because you generally don't get that much type of flame coming off the uh, if with an engine being blown. I see the parts flying at that at that point right there. That's two things. It could either be two things. Either like you said, an oil line came off because he's on fire before he even gets into there, or an engine's broken. Well, there's yeah, a, one of them. That's, say, uh, that's the fuel. That's the fuel cover. The Buckeye. Yeah. So I mean. Uh, Makes you wonder if it's uh, fuel related, oil related. Well, AJ is out of the car, the helmet is coming off, and that is certainly, certainly not his fault. A tough break, though, for this team, as they are now qualified after a great run earlier today. Stay with us. We'll update it when we come back. You're watching ESPN on ABC. Take another look at this, and we have been studying this during the commercial break, and uh, we think this is really a fuel issue now, well, right? Well, you know, we saw that uh, cover come off that seemed to be the fuel cover, and I'm just wondering if some of the fuel started to spray out, as you can see there, which actually would make the flames and then also get onto the right rear tire, which would then send the back of the car around. There is nothing you can do when you're driving when something like that happens. But this, he's had continuous mechanical problems. He had the gearbox problem in, the, in qualifying. The Buckeye here on the fuel pops up. Let's see the piece right there. That's what we're talking about. And Jack Root, you've got more? Well, Matt Curry just finally had an opportunity to see the same footage that you were showing the rest of America, and Matt, it seems to have confirmed what the booth thought and what you were afraid of. Yeah, it's uh, it's an unfortunate thing, just getting in the show this morning. Everybody's worked really hard. Anthony's worked really hard. When you take a look at that, though, does it look like the Buckeye and the fuel may have gotten on that rear tire? It, it very well could have. We're going to go back and look at all of our data and try to see if we see anything out of line, but... Uh, Apparently from the video, that's kind of what it looks like from my standpoint. Guys, we're going to let him go because they've got a lot of work to do. And keep in mind, as Eddie and, uh, and Scott said, they're not going to get a lot of chance, any more chance to be able to go out there outside of carburation day come Friday. And they've got a lot of work to do. We're going to take one more break. Uh, as you can see the damage heading back, you're watching ESPN on ABC. Back at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway and what is left of the number two, A.J. Foyt, vision entry, racing entry. And uh, Brienne, you've caught up with uh, A.J.? A.J., we were able to see the footage. What did it feel like from your perspective? I uh, just coming out of the pits and went down the corner and something broke loose and just, just saw fire out my left side mirror and, and sliding backwards to the wall. And obviously it was a hard hit. And I don't know, something, something definitely happened. We just had to go back and uh, see what happened. I don't know. Physically, you're okay. How is your confidence now? Uh, my confidence is fine. I mean, as long as I know I didn't do anything wrong and, and nothing, uh, nothing's wrong with me. So we just got to go back and investigate what happened and get our car ready for carb day. The best news, guys, is he is okay. Yeah, unfortunately, the car is not. And uh, take another look at this. We've got about a minute left. And... I, I mean, you, you, if you follow his month, he's had a whole a, a series of things that have gone wrong. When you go to qualify, it doesn't go in gear, and then you have 
uh, something with the Baca that's going wrong here. The, the mechanics are, are either struggling with something or they've changed a crew or something because he's not getting the sort of care that he needs. So let, let's talk about what this means now for the remainder of the day because uh, in three hours from now, qualifying's over. Well, he's at a 219-184. If a couple people miraculously find some speed, then he's going to have to find a backup car to put himself back in the field because this car will not be usable until carb day at the earliest. And carb day, as Eddie mentioned, is simply a shakedown because you don't want to put too many miles on your race engine. So you can only uh, basically take a little practice, figure out what you've got for the race. So we'll keep you posted, and of course, Bump Day will continue at 4 p.m. Eastern over on ESPN2. Tonight on ABC, the season finales of Extreme Makeover, Home Edition, and Desperate Housewives. Coming up next on ABC, it's NBA Countdown. We thank you for watching ESPN on ABC. For Scott Goodyear, Eddie Jeever, Jagaroot, Vince Welch, Brian Pettigo, I'm Marty Reed. Thanks so much for joining us here at Indianapolis on Bump Day. We'll see you in one hour over on ESPN2. Till we meet again. So long, everybody.